Hello everyone, and welcome back to the World War II trading card game, which still has not a very innovative name. Today, I'm going to go through one of my decks, and then we'll play a game with it. And, um, well, just uh, kind of showing where I'm at after spending some time with this game, and what kind of cards and what kind of strategies I have for it. So this is my American deck, it's an air deck. So most of the cards are going to be uh, aircraft based and aircraft support, support based. I've got a couple ships cards in there as well. Uh, this, uh, this deck has two of my legendaries. It is a American British deck. So here's my first one, David McCampbell. And I'm unfortunately going to have to say I have no idea who that is. I mean, it, it gives you a bit of a description here. So uh, he was apparently one of the US aces during World War II. And this card, well, it's a legendary American card. He has three abilities. So, uh, sorry, it's a 3 to 3 and upgrades to 5 and 7. He has three abilities. He can move freely on the battlefield, so you can actually move him around between the lanes. He gives flag raising to any friendly card. This is extremely useful, because it's not just for himself, but for any kind of card that you need to get through one turn without it being able to take damage. And he can he's, a, he's an aircraft card, so he can only be blocked by other aircraft cards or by things that can block aircraft cards like anti-aircraft uh, tanks and things. The other card, and this one is an absolute killer, is the B-29 Super Fortress. Again, another American legendary. She's a 5-5-5-8-5-11, so you'd think, hey, well, the attack power isn't that great. Yes, but <laughs> here it comes. Well, first of all, it's an aircraft card, so she can only be blocked by other aircraft cards. Or, again, the thing. Uh, she's immune to combat damage from infantry and armored. So, if she defends and she gets attacked by a tank or by an infantry card, they cannot damage her. She can damage them back, all right, but they cannot damage her. Ships can, and enemy aircraft can, but nothing else. So, she is extremely good at defending a lane, but she's also very, very good at attacking because when you upgrade her, she becomes she gets the machine gun skill, which on the on the first stage from, of promotion doubles the damage, and then the second stage of promotion triples the damage. And you'd say, well, yeah, okay, then we're at fifteen. Yes, we're at fifteen before we start putting before we start putting items in the card, <laughs> and everything triples. So if we can get her up to twenty, uh, sorry, if we if we can get her up to like fifteen. 15 uh, combat power, then, then we get 45 damage done by this thing. And that damage can only be blocked by something that's in the air. This card can dish out an incredible amount of damage. What else we got? The Flying Tigers. This is uh, an epic card. And she's quite useful if you're playing against someone else who has more health, because then she's free to play. Because you get, you get one action point back when you play her, and the opponent has more health. So that's quite useful. I've got uh, the P51, which can equip any American equipment item for free. And this is one of the reasons why you want to not mix too many nationalities in your deck, because you often get these cards, and then if you get like a British, a British item, you can't fit it onto one of these for free, because it only works within the same nationality. Uh, the Black Sheep. This is an extremely useful aircraft card, especially if you're playing against air decks. First, again, she gets free movement. When you promote her, so to rank 2, uh, she'll deal 7 damage to all enemy aircraft cards. Can you imagine the absolute carnage this thing can dish out? The second promotion deals 14 damage to all enemy aircraft cards. So basically with this thing you can wipe out an entire enemy, an, an entire enemy playfield of, of aircraft cards in, in one or two promotions. And we come, we get a couple of cards that make sense there as well. So what else we got? That's, these were the epics. Now we got some rares. I've got a Gloucester Meteor, a British jet fighter actually. And the British cards are very good at debuff. So she removes all abilities from an enemy card. So let's say an enemy card has um, unblockable. Well, you play one of these and she no longer has that. Very, very useful thing as well. Uh, what else what have we got? I've got a Corsair. Again, one of the free moving ones and she gets a relatively She's easy to upgrade, just uh, one action point for the first promotion, and does a relatively good amount of damage, but is not having a huge amount of health. 
But again, she, you need someone on the other side who can actually block these things. I've got uh, Spitfire. She has the uh, deploy ability, so she can deploy directly to the to the front lines, which is quite useful. I've got a couple of ships. I've got the HMS Ajax, which again has has a low up uh, low upgrade cost for the first promotion, and um, just when you play her, she destroys an enemy card with it, with three or less health. So that's that can be quite useful. There's a light cruiser. Also, I like light cruisers. <laughs> I've got the USS Hornet. Um, she, does, she when you play, again, she, she has a relatively low uh, promotion cost. She's not extremely powerful, but she destroys an enemy rank 1 aircraft card when you play her. Or 2 or 3 when, uh, when, you, when you have her promoted. So she can be quite useful. Oh, what else we got? Um, we've got, lastly, I think that's my last unit. Yes, that's the Hellcat. Cheap to upgrade, uh, it's a common card, but again can move freely on the battlefield, so you can reposition these things quite quite well. Uh, in terms of equipment, I've got the Medal of Honor, which is an American, uh, which is an American card, an American epic card, and you see it's a three three five five seven seven bonus card. So the downside is you can't stick this onto any of the British cards, which is why I keep my deck mostly American and I've just thrown a couple of British support cards in there. I've got the bazooka. Which yes, um, don't don't ask me about the technicalities, but you can fit that on an aircraft because it's an all units card, and this means she will destroy an enemy rank armored one card in the same lane, in combat. So when you attack or when you defend, regardless of what the actual what the actual health or anything else is, but it can be useful at times. Uh, penicillin is a really useful American item card because it heals one, two, or three hit points to a card uh, at the beginning of the turn, and it also gives gives uh, good buffs. We've got um, grenades. Grenades just deal damage to the enemy player when um, at, at the start of the turn and this damage isn't blockable so that'll always happen well, which is which is a quite neat thing to do. I've got um, an M1 and again yes don't ask me how <laughs> this is just a good uncommon card with uh, with a very very decent attack uh, attack buff that you can stick onto onto your airplanes. I've got the extra ammo, which is again just just a buff card. And this is a very good action card. It's not quite as good as the Soviet one because the, it costs two points to promote a rank two card, which means it's pretty much useless for that because most most uh, cards cost two points to promote to start with. But um, it costs only one point to promote a friendly rank one card. So you can do things like um, if, if you have a rank 1 card, you can play this to get it to rank 2 for 1, and then you, you spend 2 to get it to rank 3 in, in the same turn. So you can, you can do, that can be quite useful. And if you remember, I've got things like the, um, the card that does damage to all enemy aircraft when promoting. So that's quite neat. Um, what else have I got? I've got Flying Ace, just to deal with enemy aircraft cards. Uh, if I, if I just need to. That's quite that's occasionally useful. The searchlight as well is a British card. It's quite useful. It does heal the enemy for if you ki kill a card, but you for a cost of one you can destroy any enemy aircraft card. If you compare that to the flying ace, you need to spend three points to destroy a rank three aircraft card. Yes, it kill it, it hurts the player, but with the searchlight, if you don't have the action points, you can destroy any aircraft card for one action point, which is quite useful. And Lastly, uh, I've got the, uh, I've got this one. Medical research is an action to just restore health and, and attack of a friendly card. So if somebody has been debuffing your card or it's quite it's badly hurt and you can't upgrade it anymore to heal it, then you can use this to um, to get your cards back. And that's my American deck. So let's go and play around. I'm currently in the middle of playing campaign to get all the to get uh, things to three stars, because if you might have noticed, there's a progress little tab, and it says you need to get um, I need to get a hundred a hundred uh, campaign missions up to a hundred uh, two or three stars, and then I get another chest. So that's what I'm kind of busy with right now. I'm somewhere in the seventies. So 
that's what we're gonna do. Okay, let's do this one. We see from the last time we only had only had one star when I beat it, so let's see if we can get this up to three stars. I'm gonna play it with the American deck that we just looked at. And the win condition is to defeat the oppon opponent in six turns or less. Okay, so in order to get three stars, we have to achieve a couple of things. First of all, we have to win, but we also have to make sure that we are not losing too much health and um, that we play and upgrade cards as we uh, and destroy enemy cards. So all these things give us give us uh, give us points, and we need enough points to make it three stars. So that's not a bad opening. Because what we can do is we can play the Corsair here. And since she's, we can give her the medal. And since she's just um, one, one point to upgrade to, uh, to promote to the next stage, we can get her up to a 12-9 in the first turn. Okay. Okay. Something came in, so we're going to have to heal that one again. Okay, we have less health. So... We're going to play the, the Flying Tigers here just for blocking. It's over here. We get that play for free. It's important that you do that first before you run out of action points because otherwise uh, otherwise you will you will not have too much fun because you can't play that anymore otherwise. And we might just play another one of these and upgrade this. Yeah, we, we do have the better equipment, but this is already a rank 2, so we would have to spend 2 points to upgrade her, so we might as well just upgrade her the manual way. Alternatively, uh, we could just spend 1 and restore restore the health, and just take the 12 and upgrade the, uh, and upgrade the Corsair. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Okay, so restore this one. It's a bit of a risk, because if they upgrade the tank quite a bit, then we might lose this one, but we'll, we'll take it. And we can upgrade the Corsair. That gives us a bit more hit points. And that means the that means the Locust here with the Brutality doesn't actually get any excess damage. But first, we do damage. And because it's an air unit, they can't block that. Okay. Now here's an unblockable card, and that's very unpleasant. So we are going to need to have something to deal with that. And soon, or we just need to kill this guy. Now, he's got six points, and I don't really have anything to deal with him here, so we might just have to go and try and kill these people as quick as we can. Um, definitely going to put the Super Fortress out here. We have four, four turns left, so I'm going to have to hurry up a bit. Uh, this should... I'm going to promote... Okay, I'm going to start with promoting the Super Fortress... That gives us double damage on attacking. Of course, you can't do anything from here because the Flying Tiger's in the way, but this one's going to die the next turn, hopefully. So I'm going to take a bit more damage plus that one, which I'm not super happy about. Let's see if it's enough for three stars. Otherwise, we're going to have to try again at some point. And um, we can use the Ajax here to, to destroy that card because... That gives us. That hopefully means she's not gonna kill our our corsair here. I, I I do want the flying tigers out of the way because I want to get the super fortress in. So let's do twenty two damage. Okay. This is getting a lot of damage that we're taking here. So let's see that we can quickly do something about this. Um. Okay, because also here comes a panther, which is also unblockable. So this this thing is already unblockable with the upgrades and has a has a first strike ability. So that's quite that's quite nasty. Um, what are we gonna do? We're probably gonna. This is giving the most. This is giving four on attack, and this is giving three on attack. Yeah. So let's do that. Upgrade that thing once more, and that might already be enough to kill him. Oh, this close. You see, it's the nine attack triples now. So unfortunately, we're taking some hits now. Which probably brings us down to two stars. Yes, that brings us down to two stars. Oh, that's unfortunate. We had we almost had him. Two more. <laughs> two more points. Two more points. Okay. Um, we'll have to try that again. 
Okay. Because we only had two stars, and I wanted three stars. So while well, that was a victory, and because I already beat that level, I don't get that much gold for it anymore. We'll give that another try. Okay, again, custom deck. Okay, now we get the... Again, remember, we've got less health, so we can play the Flying Tigers for free. And we can play... We can play the B29. Now we can upgrade the B29 for one point with using our card. This only gives three on attack, but um, there were a lot of armored cars, so, cards, so let's go with that. And end our turn. Let's see what they've got. Oh! Here comes... Here comes the mouse! The mighty mouse. Yeah. Now he, he does some damage, so we're gonna have to be a little bit careful. Uh, nothing under three, so the Ajax can't really do anything, but we do have the Medal of Honor, which gives us a really good boost of seven, so we're going to stick that onto our B29, and upgrade our B29 again. I'm going to take the damage from the Satan here, because well, hopefully it's not too much, and I really want to get the early dam the quick damage in with the B29. Ready. Okay. <laughs> you see that? That is... 45 damage just from the B29. Okay. And you, you've seen what happened to the mouse, right? The mouse just died because um, the B29 cannot be harmed by ground units. So now, yeah, we're pretty much done with this level. So we're going to do that. I'm going to play him and uh, flag race himself so he can't be damaged. He's just blocking here. And yeah, well, that's not really a good reason or anything else. Uh, the B29 can take it from here. And there we go. <laughs> that gives us the three stars. Now, obviously, I've uh, I've been playing quite a little bit ahead already at this point. So we got this on three points. Yeah, we got this on three stars. I've been playing quite a bit ahead of points, so my deck is a bit more powerful than the time when I actually beat this, which is why I'm just going now through the things. But I'm now at level... Where am I? 100, 134. And I'm rather stuck at this point with my decks, but this is about... Um, twice twice the level count of where I'm, where I'm right here. So I'm just going through the campaigns and three-starring them. You can do this on normal hard and master, and it gives uh, it gives you chests with cards in it at, um, at certain stages when you get there. So yeah, that was my American deck in action, and that B29 is an absolute brutal thing, I can tell you that much. Next time, I'll show you some of my other decks and how I play them and for what situations we can play them. That was the American deck for doing maximum damage through the air. And I, I, I thought this is just rather fitting for an American deck. Doing maximum damage through the air. That's it for today. I'll see you next time when I get around to have a secondary video. And then we'll, we'll do what I was just talking about. See you then. Bye.